Hi, my name is Ella and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Um, today my episode will be mainly about the New York Ship and Oil Festival and uh, I have some finished objects and uh, one whip going on. So let's get into it. Uh, so last week or two weeks ago, it's already two weeks ago, I went to New York Ship and Oil Festival. Um, it was my first time visiting a yarn festival, which was very exciting. And uh, I was vis visiting my cousin as well. And uh, from Long Island to Rhinebag, it took us two hours and a half uh, by car. And uh, the weather was so wonderful. On the way, we saw a lot of uh, fall color trees and everything um it was so pretty and beautiful even when i got there um the F duchess F duchess fairground i think it was called duchess county fairground um the place was like huge um it had grass and different buildings in different sections and it um, had 241 vendors. Some of them were new, some of them were old, um, but yeah, it was just very overwhelming <laughs> because there were a lot of stuff. So at the entrance, I got this uh, little booklet and it has a map. So as you can see, it has um, a lot of buildings and, and, and a lot of stuff. So but after I entered the entrance, uh, we went to the A, B, C, D buildings, um, which is right here. And uh, we just browsed because um, I didn't want to buy anything before um, I see everything. So I wanted to just like look around and pretty much see everything and then um, decide where to buy what and uh, we went to the food um, vendor section we were in the line for a while to get some food which was a little annoying but uh, while i was in the line some people came up to me and uh, commented my yell cardigan which was wonderful um, i felt like i became a celebrity or something even though i'm i'm not a celebrity at all at the beginning i was a little shy but after i met several people i was able to like do the same thing to other people like oh i love your sweater like what yarn did you use what pattern is it and uh there were so many good stuff i just wanted to buy everything and and come home with everything i saw i was like trying to decide which one to take home with me and uh, i definitely wanted to go to um, green mountain spinnery and Harrisville Designs, which I did. And there were two other vendors I went to, uh, which was the Primrose Co. And uh, the other one was, let me see the name, uh, Fiederbrook Farm. So the first thing I bought um, was from Fiederbrook Farm, which is this um, beautiful two-ply, all color mixed up uh, yarn. This is 100% blue faced laster wool, which I've never tried, so I wanted to try. This is, I think it's DK weight, 260 yards, handmade, I mean hand dyed, made in USA, um, yeah. So they had a lot of this type of yarn, which is similar to spin cycle, if you know spin cycle. I've never tried spin cycle yarn before, but I wanted to try similar um, kind of yarn. I could see a lot of people making colorwork yoke sweater, for example, but they're using this color in the yoke section, so you don't really have to change um, uh, yarn colors. Um, you just use this one yarn and it will just change itself, the color. Um, yeah, and uh, you have like a plain background color. For example, this one's got like pink, blue, and gray, so I can make light gray background and then use this as my color work um, yarn. So this was the one that I got. I only got one because I was intending to use this for my color work and one will do the job. But anyways, this was my first purchase and I went to Primrose Co. 
They had a basket uh, full of very pretty yarn that was going on sale because they were going to uh, discontinue this yarn. Um, I don't know why, because they look so pretty. I forgot five and uh, I paid $30 for five, which is a good deal. And uh, I've I saw a lot of people wearing neon color, color work, yoke, sweater. So I wanted to try neon color, but I'm not brave enough yet to use these for my sweater because I feel like it's too much like, I'm here, I'm out here, you know, look at me. Um, so I just wanted to buy these mini skein and try it in my socks. So they're gonna be my socks. Um, some of the yarn, for example, these three are not plied, it's single, and these two are two ply. I can see by looking at the yarn. This one's also very pretty. I really like the hand dyed yarn. So these are gonna be my socks. And... I went to Green Mountain Spinnery and got this one. This one is called Ragtime. That's the name of the yarn. This is 2 ply DK weight, 100% fine wool, 306 yards or 279 meters long. This is called Joplin 9425. This is very soft and squishy. And I have another color that I got from the same Green Mountain Spinnery. This is called Armstrong 9863. I wanted to get blue color, but they didn't have any. Uh, I guess it was sold out already. Um, so I got the pink one or the red one and the, the green one. So these are gonna be my color work sweater as well. So. I wanted to buy this type of yarn because I've never tried this type of yarn before. Um, I wanted to see like how the color changes. So I got one of um, this from different vendor and two of those from the Great Mountain Spinnery. I'm so excited to try them. And let me talk about Utopia before I move on to the Harrisville, the, uh, Harrisville designs. So there was this vendor called Utopia. I think the name is amazing. This one's um, sock yarn. The colorway is City Lights. And this is 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, 420 yards, 115 gram. I just love the color. I think if I make a vanilla sock out of this, like it's just, it's just a simple plain socks, it will be like um, self-striping sock i think i'm just so curious to see the colors i see like rainbow but like toned down rainbow not too bright it's a little little dark but i just think it's so pretty i had to get one and i was trying to buy mohair i wanted to buy hand dyed mohair that has like different colors in the yarn, but this one's just one color, which is like bluish purple color, which is my favorite as well. And this is mohair, 70% brushed kit mohair, 30% nylon, 70 grams, 740 yards. And it's just so pretty. And the last section will be about Harrisville designs. They had a sale um, basket, and I got three of these skeins. Uh, the colorway is yellow butterfly, and this is worsted, 200 yards uh, in a skein. Um, it's mixture of wool and mohair, 75% wool and 25% mohair. And the wool content, I mean the, the sheep name I've never heard of, I'm gonna put um, the detail down in the uh, below So if you want you can check it out. I've never tried peace fleece um, Yarn before and I got three of those. I Don't know what to make with it, but I'll probably go for a sweater for example if I mix these together Look at that so pretty Okay, so um, I'm not sure what it will become but it'll probably become a sweater 
And I'm gonna talk about Harrisville designs now. They gave me this bag. Isn't it cute? This is pretty sturdy cotton um, canvas bag. And they had this little badge in the store. The woman who helped me asked me to take some. So I took two and I bought daylights. This is a bloodshot colorway. This is 100% American Cormo and wool, 250 yards in 100 gram skein, DK weight. So the daylight, um, this one has red color in it. If you look close, you can see there were um, blue, purple, green, I guess. So different shades, all looking the same. But if you look close, you can see those little color mixed together with the yarn so i got three skeins and i have three skeins of the nightshade this one's green i think you can see the color so this one also had like green blue purple different types of um colors this one is just called vcr same content same hundred gram so um these three skeins of each daylight and nightshade can be the background of a sweater and they are all very shapey and very soft which i love um all all the yarns that i got from the festival are very soft and um my intention was to buy something that i've never tried or that i cannot um get my hands on in Canada easily so that's I went to um, Harrisville designs I've never seen nightshade day daylight here in Canada um, and this one I bought two of those because they are undyed they are very natural undyed fiber which is amazingly soft and squishy oh so shapey um, and uh, I've never tried CVM and Romdale. Um, I think it's a type of yarn. Uh, I mean the sheep. Um, but I'm not sure. But anyways, this is undyed natural. Um, I've never tried undyed yarn. So I wanted to go for it. This is called Fawn Brown. So 100 gram and 320 yards DK weight. So these two will be enough to make a colorwork sweater. This can be the background color again. And I've got two of those white color. Same undyed. And the colorway is just called white because it's white. And it's called she ear. Sheer, sheer or sheer. Um, natural undyed fiber. They are just so amazing. Next to skin soft. Oh my god. Ooh. So these are everything I got from New York Ship and all. Um, I felt like I was in, in the heaven or something. <laughs> I was surrounded by other knitters wearing different sweaters and cardigan and everything hat and oh my god. Um, too much to like sock in but but you never have that kind of experience anywhere else right and it was just so so inspiring exciting and fun and happy the weather was perfect everything was perfect it was one of the perfect days in my life i can say that it was that good yeah so definitely if you're planning go for it you won't regret it and let's move on to the FOs. I have a bunch of items here. Uh, I haven't been able to make any sweater or cardigan or any clothing item. I made a lot of accessories I'll show you. First one is the Oslo hat by Petit Neat. I think everybody have one by now. It's fitted design. Um, I've used, let me check my project page. I've used Camaro's Tin Lamult. 
I believe it's 50% wool, 50% llama. Uh, I used two skeins holding two strands together. I've used 3.5 millimeter needles. I didn't use all of the yarn. I have some left. Uh, and the colorway is, uh, I don't think it's English. It's L-Y-S-E-G-U-L. I'll put down below. I got it from my local yarn store called the Knitting Loft. And I love the yarn. I can see hair, halo. It's very pretty yellow color. It's gonna keep me warm uh, around the brim area especially and it'll keep my ears very warm because that um, part, the brim, is triple layered. So you, you knit like a long brim and then you fold it over and over and it becomes like triple layered and it's gonna keep you very warm. I have another hat made um, out of wool and the gang yarn uh, called Feeling Good. I only had one skein left from another project. The color is Eucalyptus Green. Let me just put it on for you. Um, um, because I had only one ball left, I wanted to make it a little longer but I was not able to but still it turned out great I think compared to the Oslo hat um, it's not that heavy or it's very light very airy and uh, um, I in terms of the warmth I think Oslo hat will be better but in terms of um, lightweight and very airy it feels like i'm not really wearing anything but the oslo hat because triple layered here it's a little tight around the brim and i can feel the hat but this one i don't really feel like i'm wearing anything and i really like the design the ribbing and everything the textured look so i might uh, make another one of each um, for the Oslo head, I want another color, like maybe caramel color or dark color, dark navy. And this one, I'll probably knit in a um, different yarn, different color as well, but make it a little longer. Yeah, and I have another hat. This is Halloween hat. Um, it is free pattern. It's called Around It Ghosts. Ghosts. Uh, it's in robbery uh, and I'll put it on this one is not for me this one's for my husband so it's a little big um, but I can still wear it and it has a little space up here so I'll just like fold it a little bit at the back and it, it looks fun right so he has to wear some kind of Halloween theme item um, to his workplace so he'll be wearing this next week or is it this week Today is already 24th, so very soon he'll be wearing that one. Go to work. And I have this, um, my third knitting batch neckerchief. I think I, I showed you another one in my last video. This one is uh, made out of just one ball of yarn that I have left uh, from another project. And this is alpaca yarn from Knit Picks. And you can wear it around your neck or like around your head like a head scarf. This is how I normally wear it. Um, but if I walk my dog and if I go outside just uh, in front of my house, I'll just be wearing like around my neck as a neckerchief. It'll keep me warm. And um, this one I intended to make it for my husband, but he said it's a little scratchy, which is not true. <laughs> so I'll be using it for myself or for my dog. And this mini, um, project that I finished yesterday uh, my mom asked me to make one for her this is just a neck collar like an accessory that you can wear around your neck um, I made it by crocheting this is a free pattern uh, I don't know if it's in Ravelry or not but I found it on internet I just downloaded and I just uh, made it by looking at the pattern has a little string attached to it and at the end of the string it has a little flower can you see it? little flower here very cute this is a very cute and feminine um, 
accessory that you can have around your neck if you're wearing like a black t-shirt or a sweater I think it'll um, be very pretty if you're wearing on top of like a dark color I'm wearing light color so it doesn't really show but it's very delicate feminine kind of looking uh, neck color yeah so I'm done with my FO I'm talking about my whip right now so this is um, called twist loop color by Maya Clovedal I'm not sure I don't think it's English again I'll put the name down below um, she's called other loops in Instagram I love everything she makes um, next um, I mean after I finish this one I'm gonna try to make the sweater there's a sweater called twist loop sweater I think by her uh, made by her um, so similar cable design but very very pretty uh, anyways I'll show you like how much I worked so this is the front panel done and the back panel almost done after that I just need to pick up stitches around the neck and make it turtleneck I love the yarn. This is from Isayer. Let me check my project page. Um, Isayer yarn, Aaron Tweed. So it has tweed effects. Um, I got three skeins. In total, it's um, so one skein is 100 gram and uh, 300 grams in total and 480 meters long I don't think I'll be using all of it uh, it depends on like how much longer I want to make my turtleneck with um, the colorway is green I got it from my local yarn store the knitting loft and I just love the yarn I want to try their um, Aran, not Aran weight but different weight tweed yarn as well they have different color um, it's thinner but oh so pretty especially like the blue color or the I think it was green aqua green uh, color that was pretty as well even just the beige color or or very dark black color was very pretty so definitely go for it if you want to uh, make something out of Isair yarn Aaron Tweed um, yeah so uh, everything I think I mentioned everything. Oh, I forgot I forgot to mention the one um, I'm wearing right now. So this is called Paris Cardigan by Knits from Oslo. I got the pattern from their website, not from Ravelry because they don't have it in Ravelry. Um, I made size medium using 4.0 millimeter needles and 5.5 zero millimeter needles. I used seven skeins of Camarose Tinned Lamuld. Uh, I used a very light pink color on top where I have these uh, lace going on. This is called Lace Puder. Um, and the bottom color is a little darker, dark, um, dark pink, dusty pink. And the name of the colorway is Gamal Rosa. Uh, so I've used two skeins of the light pink and five skeins of the dirty, dirty pink color. Uh, yeah, five skeins of the dirty pink. So in total, seven skeins. And I got the yarn from, of course, from my local yarn store, The Knitting Loft. I love their store. They have a lot of yarn. If you haven't been there, go check it out, especially if you're in Toronto because the store is in Toronto. Um, anyways, this cardigan is uh, very girlish, uh, feminine. I just saw the picture on Instagram one day and I was just instantly falling in love with um, the... The design this color is okay but uh, with my skin tone and complexion I don't think it's um, very good uh, fit I mean I can I, I, I still cherish it I really like it but with my skin tone I think the white and the navy will will go better um, what else um, the yarn is very warm um, even though it's kind of a lace 
um, pattern and I you can see it's a little see-through it doesn't feel like it's um, not keeping me warm it's very warm and I used flower shape flower shape button plastic button and a uh, buttonhole around the hole I just sew around so I will not catch any thread while I'm um, I'm closing or opening the buttons so if I close it up it'll look like this I'm very happy with how it turned out I just uh, feel like I sh I could have made it in a different color it could have looked better on me but that's fine so yeah I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover yep so I hope you enjoyed and uh, I hope to see you again in my next video until then take care and uh, I'll see you soon again bye